Data is the key to monitoring the spread of COVID-19 and limiting its impact on vulnerable communities. Now, a special platform is being set up to do just that. South Africa's confirmed cases of the coronavirus now standing at 1,187. ENCA's Barry Bateman was at the latest government briefing. Access to accurate data has proved vital to fighting the global COVID-19 pandemic. The government and the CSIR have started work on a resource center to help it make informed decisions. A joint CSIR and Department of Health team are hard at work creating a range of data warehouses, including the geographical spread of the disease, the current cases, the categories of people with health vulnerabilities, the location of health and other facilities amongst others. This is becoming a core of our war against the virus because by having a central place to look at the epidemiology and how the virus is changing, we are then able to, as government, allocate the necessary resources to particular places. Another aspect that emerged at this latest briefing was the distribution of social grants. Certain days have been reserved for the most vulnerable grant recipients. Payments will be done from the 30th to the 31st of this month, starting with older persons and persons with disability. And this will also include uh, uh, women with uh, babies. And I'm hoping that uh, women with babies can be able to leave the babies at home when they go get their social grants. All other social grants will be paid on the 1st of April as per normal schedule. Both SASA and the South African Post Office have finalized all logistical arrangements pertaining to social grant payments. When we say we've arranged all um, logistical arrangements, the understanding and appreciation also must be that we are sure we will find in some instances where these are not adequate. So we are having a conversation with the Department of Transport and the Minister of Transport who will be engaging in terms of looking at the times uh, for people to be able to take the transport uh, to the areas where they are supposed to get their social grants. A major concern during this lockdown has been for communities who have no services. While the government suggests people wash their hands regularly with soap, Many areas have limited access to water. We've gone ahead with uh, procuring uh, water, uh, water tanks and we've procured uh, 41,000 of them. Uh, the, the greatest number is the one that goes to the Eastern Cape. We have currently uh, procured 2,342. Meanwhile, the government has also announced it is conducting an online survey to better understand behaviours and patterns. It has reiterated its appeal to people to adhere to the regulations and to stay at home. Barry Bateman, Pretoria.